Stop searching for external validation. What does this mean? Is it difficult to find your own intuition when you're trying to make decisions? If your intuition is saying something and even though if it is the hardest decision you have to make, the hardest decision you have to make, I'm telling you. And you ask somebody else, you don't know their limitations, darling. You don't know what their shadows are. And every time somebody influences you and they are they they coming from their shadows, they are holding you back in certain ways. And I'm not saying that they are they mean to harm you or they mean to be uh, detrimental to your growth. But you, if you are not confident in your own intuition what your gut is telling you what you think is the best thing for you then how can you expect other people to show up in the same energy for you you'll end up asking a million people for their opinions and they'll clash and you'll be more confused than ever so shut your eyes when you're trying to make a decision shut your eyes and if you are uh, not in the right energy don't push yourself it's okay take your time Okay, it's best to sometimes just take a step back, regain your energy and then make the decision when you sure that you are in the right mind space. So shut your eyes when you feel you're in the right mind space, shut your eyes. You have come a long way. You have built your inner resources, you've built your inner strength, you have built a structure for yourself, you are incredibly strong. You know what you want. It might seem on the surface that you don't, but trust me, you know what you want. So ask yourself, what is your heart saying? And eventually you'll get there and it's okay if you don't have the strength to make that decision yet but at least you know what it is saying right people often tend to project their insecurities or their limitations onto you and it is very important to stop asking for people's opinions on things that matter to you they don't know where you're coming from they don't know what your vision is they don't know what your journey is so it is unfair to expect them to show up in the energy that you would have shown up for yourself, your higher self would have shown up for yourself. Every time you step inward and you ask your higher self, when you're asking your intuition, you're asking your higher self essentially. What do you think is the best thing for me to do at this point? What do you think is the best decision to, for me to make at this point? So your higher self from your future will step in and tell you, you just have to listen. You just have to listen. And sometimes it is the hardest decision you have to make. You have this trend to go through with it. You have immense, infinite amount of strength, my darling. And when you don't think like you do, that's fine too. That's fine too. Ask your spirit team to come through. Okay. Keep assisting. Ask your spirit team to come through and then you'll see the signs. Like you'll see... A feather or you'll see you'll hear some lyrics in the song that you're listening to you might have a friend or an um, mentor or a parent or somebody like that authority figure maybe that will come through with a advice and you will be able to tell where they're coming from whether they're coming from their own shadows and limitations whether they're coming from something that they know is right for you whether they're coming from their intuition so trust your gut when that happens trust your gut it is a journey it is a process to get there but when that happens you will know okay you can't take advice from somebody who doesn't have the expertise or hasn't shown results in their own journey in regards to the question that you're asking them for example you can't ask for financial advice from somebody who themselves are having financial troubles you can't ask for spiritual advice from somebody who clearly is operating from their ego in such a situation if you don't trust anybody around you you haven't come across the right people you need to be the source of your own happiness and there will be people coming in here and there and that might give you some sort of advice or some sort of energy that will help you keep going. Your spiritual team will come through in ways that you won't expect and they will always be there for you. Trust them. Okay, these are uh, extraterrestrial entities 
that have higher energy they are coming through in astral forms to look over you they are assisting you in every way shape or form you don't know that you can't see it so it doesn't mean it doesn't exist but it's there you can feel it and trust me if today you are feeling that you know what is she talking about <laughs> that's fine but the minute you kind of ask them and you keep a open mind don't be doubtful don't keep that um, doubt in your mind while asking them for guidance because then it's difficult for them to come through if you are high, vibrating on a higher energy frequency they can match your frequency they can help you get uh, you know stuff that are matching that that is matching their frequency of higher consciousness trust that they're coming in okay they will show you signs they will show you i'm telling you it's crazy so many synchronicities you'll see uh today at this point if i see a synchronicity i'm like yeah what's new <laughs> you know but uh, i thank my spiritual team because they come through you know they come through and they have come through so many times without me even expecting or asking them so what i'm trying to say here is trust your intuition okay your intuition will tell you so many things things that are best for your alignment for your consciousness rising for the best things that you have to um you know get in your lifetime your intuition will guide you always and if you're asking for, for from somebody their advice make sure they have evidence to support that that aspect in their life is to a large extent resolved or at least you know getting in on the right direction so it is very good to have mentors that will guide you in the right way possible right best way possible for yourself that's about it uh, trust your inner compass i love you guys and i had written something down so i'm just reading let's see what i have to say i just wrote it and and everything was getting channeled so let's see there is a need in the collective there is a need to step away from other people's opinions people come from their own limitations a lot of time that you may ask for their opinions they might project their shadows onto your reality people operate from their shadows often people operate from the shadows people that aren't woke operate from their shadows period end of story so you need to know who is woke and who is not woke don't let people who are not woke give you opinions that affect your journey there is a tap there is a need to start tapping into your own inner knowing there is a tap so there is a tap of your intuition okay that just came to me these are the things that these are the synchronicities i'm talking about okay when you channel you'll also start channeling these things you just have to trust that it is coming from somewhere so when i said there is a tap you have to connect it with what you were saying and what the spirit is trying to tell you there is a tap of infinite knowledge that you are tapping into that you are tuning into so let it let, open it and let it come okay the universe has infinite knowledge infinite abundance infinite potential so the next time you feel like you need to make a decision ask your spirit team to come through they will always come through they will share information through somebody that will be wise trust your gut when that happens they will show you signs in your reality they will show you signs in your dreams only take advice from people who you know have succeeded in whatever is your concern at the moment if you're looking for financial advice take it from somebody who's rich who has assets if you're looking for relationship advice spiritual advice take it from somebody who has evidence to support that they have overcome these challenges in their own lives don't go about asking anybody and everybody you deserve the best knowledge you deserve the best information right if you're having a panic attack you won't go to another person who is having a panic attack right you'll go to somebody who has a shit together right <laughs> it's as simple as that so don't ask anybody and everybody we often take advice from people who don't know what they're doing themselves okay that causes limitations in your journey it doesn't allow open uh, you know channels if you're planning to do something big and somebody you talk to you ask them what do you think about this and then they say you know uh, i don't know this is possible this is not that's going to cause limitations in your mind the world is your oyster man go out get what you want to nothing is off limits for you you are limitless you're absolutely limitless if not today tomorrow you will get there right allow your intuition to tell you what is right for you so that's about it um again like when it comes to intuition i had read this book oh my god you have to read this book okay you have to read this book it's called 
the woman who runs with the wolves and this is a very famous book it's about how you learn to trust your intuition so the author she talks about a lot of old tales uh, mythological tales and um, you know stories of that are metaphors to how we often especially women tend to wild woman archetype right that's the archetype that's it's, it's based on so we are very wild women innately are extremely wild and if you are not a feminine if you are a masculine or you identify as another gender there is a feminine in all of us there's a wild feminine in all of us so our feminine energy is where your intuition is right is where you tap into the intuition that's your gut that's your third eye is feminine every time we don't listen to our intuition it keeps going away from us you have to read that book it's it's insane you have to read it it gave me strength in my own journey to make the quests that were scaring me it will give you strength as well but basically if you're not into reading and you want to read the book i'll give you a gist uh, of what i had to take from it okay so when you are listening to your intuition your gut feeling it keeps getting strengthened it keeps getting strengthened it keeps getting strengthened to the point that you will know the minute you meet anybody or the minute you are uh, faced with a challenge what is the right thing to do you will know all of us have that potential no exceptions right but the every time you ignore it or you dismiss it or you do something that is not right for you it keeps walking away from you the intuition keeps getting less and less and less to the point that it will get so less that you will be lost that is where you don't want to find yourself and even if you are there that's completely fine as well you will find yourself your way back out that's 100% a possibility for you you just have to start listening to it okay align yourself with the best people align yourself with energies that resonate with you that bring you up that motivate you and if you feel called to join my uh, coaching program i am here for you dm me or email me i'll be more than happy to help you out okay and i'm trying to make a lot of content for you guys i there's a lot for me to say there's a lot inside me i just haven't been sharing all this while but now i feel called so i hope it resonates i hope it adds to your journey in some beautiful ways so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed what i had to say let me know in the comments down below what you thought about what i had to say and your own journey i would love to know more about your journey as well so i'll see you the next one lots of love bye